What is obscure darkness in Proverbs 20 and 20? Let's read that. What is obscure darkness? Pull up the definition of obscure. This is the definition of obscure. Not discovered or known about. Uncertain. Verb. Keep from being seen. Conceal. Yeah, that's what's, that which is unseen, not discovered or known about. Uncertain. Yeah, we, we all know that we've been here before, but we have no, no remembrance of the things that's passed. So ain't nobody died, seen what it's like to die, and then came back. Well, read that in Proverbs 20 and 20. You said 20 and 12? 20 and 20. This is Proverbs, the book of chapter Proverbs, 20 20. chapter 20 and verse 20. Whoso curseth his father or his mother, his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. So it says, he who, he who curses his father or mother. If you, what are, what are some ways that you curse your father and mother? Uh, Emmanuel. When the scriptures say he that curseth his father or mother, what is that, what is that talking about? That could be going into, sorry, oh, that could be going into you, that could be going into you saying like, uh, uh, you know, y'all wicked, y'all ain't never gonna get the truth, y'all never gonna come in here, you know what I'm saying, y'all, you constantly, uh, you're not being a light to your parents, you know, that's one example of you kind of cursing them and saying, you know, you ain't never gonna come to this truth, you know, you ain't this, you ain't that, and being disrespectful. That's that, that's the last part, being disrespectful. That's not, I you being disrespectful, disobedient, you disregarding your parents. Just because you come into the truth, you still got to honor your father and mother. You still have to honor your father and mother in the truth. When you come into the truth, it don't mean that the honor that you're supposed to have to your parents goes out the window. But it says, he that curseth his father and mother. Read it again. Whoso curseth his father or his mother... His lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. So it says his lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Let's get the law. Exodus chapter 21 and 17. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 21 and verse 17. He that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. So when Proverbs 20, when it say that they lamp shall be cut off in obscure darkness, it's just simply saying that you're going to be put to death. Simply saying, you, it's plainly saying, this is plain. He that curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. From there, go to Leviticus 20 and 9. Leviticus 20 and 9. And a lot of, in, in these laws, of course, we know, under the law of Moses, these are things you got stoned for. You got put to death. A lot of our, a lot of the, the mistake is that now that we ain't under the law, more we we are under the New Testament that the Most High ain't judging you for these things. Yeah, we ain't stoned. We ain't stoning nobody. But this is why this it's things this this right here is one of the reasons why you see day in and day out, city of Chicago, twenty murders here, thirty murders there. That's the most high judge. Remember, Deut Deuteronomy 32 and 39 says, I kill and I make alive. That's judgment. That's the judgment that our people don't want. Don't realize that's what they're asking for when they say only God can judge me. Just tapping back into that other question. But read, read what you got in Leviticus 20 and 9. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 9. For everyone that cursed his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. So he says, this it says, for everyone that curses father or his mother shall surely be put to death. I mean, don't, don't doubt it. Ain't no doubt about it. They're going to be put to death. Ain't no doubt about it. If you, if you curse your father and mother, you disrespect them, you disloyal, you, you disregard them. You don't do what they, you do what you want to do. You just dis, dis, fully full all out, disrespect your parents. 
you're going to be put to death. Whether it come now or it come later, you're going to be put to death. Go to um, Deuteronomy 21 and 18. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21 and verse 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. So it says, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. Brother Elijah. What is that saying? When it says, if a man have a stubborn and rebellious son. What is that also saying? We just read it. That's it. Shalom, officer. That's saying that he's disrespecting his mother, his father. What the, what the, what the scriptures say? What is the same? The same thing we're reading right here. What 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 is? Oh, he curses. He curses. He, he that curses his mother or father. Okay, so read it again. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious you son, down. you can sit down. Which will not obey the voice of his father, or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them. So all this in verse 18 is you cursing your father and your mother. Read. Verse 19. Then shall his father and mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. Verse 20. And, there sh and they shall say unto the elders of his city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. Read. And all men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. So just imagine that. We know we don't do that today. Just, about, just imagine if we were still doing this. You think it would still be 20, 30, 40 shootings across the city of Chicago? Nope. Because there, there'd be, it'd be some fear instilled in the hearts and minds of our children. It'd be fear because they know, okay, if I do this, shoot, I'm going to be put to death. That's why the scripture say, when you, it says, and all the men of this city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put evil away from among you. And all Israel shall hear and fear. Our people today ain't got no fear. Our young men ain't no fear in the streets. If you see, if you read or see any of them news articles, the stuff that they do, they didn't even do that. I ain't that, I ain't that old. Well, they didn't even do that stuff when I was 16, 17, 18. The stuff they do now, they have no care, no fear. They really, they really have a reprobate mind. They do, the brothers get, you, they, I, you, I done seen articles, they, a brother get pulled over or the police pull up on them. And the police right there, they pull a gun out right there. That's no fear, no care. No care for their life or nobody else's life. That's why, that's why things are going the way they're going. Like the scriptures say, the love of many shall wax cold. But from there, go to Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Ecclesiastes in the Bible. This is Ecclesiastes in the Bible, chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. A lot of people, a lot of our people think that th those that disrespect and dishonor their parents, they think that because they're not receiving a, a swift, immediate judgment and being put to death, that it's not going to happen. If you go on disrespecting, dishonoring, not honoring your parents, disobeying, being disobedient, that which is cursing them, you will be put to death. You will not get the kingdom. So for the question, what is obscure, the obscure darkness in Proverbs 20 and 20, is simply referring to you being put to death. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. 
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.